Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Okay, so we are keeping the grind going. Um there had been a slew flu. No, a slew. That's what you call it, a slew or a lot of video coming up at going up at like all hours of the day, so check all those out. Um been doing wrestling content, baseball content, rants about e learning. And a bunch of other different variety content. Content? Did I just say content? Content! I think I would, that's what I was supposed to say. Um, and music content too. So, plenty of different variety stuff is coming out to today. So, to today. Why do I always have a speech impediment when I go to record these videos, but when I'm having a normal conversation, I talk just fine? It's weird. So, today we're turn returning. Returning to the baseball side of things. Now, I love baseball, okay? I loved it for about the past five years. I really went hardcore the 2018, 19, and 20 season. I can name a good 500 players that retired, uh, retired and current, living dead. People that have been exiled from the game and prospects that have not even made their debuts yet. So, all up and down the spectrum. Play, play, play that I played over 100 years ago and players that haven't even been drafted. Actually, no, I can't name one that haven't been. Actually, I can't name someone that have been drafted. I have a cousin. His name is Payne Donaldson, a catcher. He's like 20. Um, He was in Colorado. Where did he go to? The University of Jacksonville? So, if he gets drafted, I'm getting a baseball from him. So, that statement probably stands correct. I hope he makes it to the majors. But uh, I don't even know if he plans to play professional, but... He, he really liked the Rockies. He's a Charlie Blackman fan with the beard. Um, but, yeah, so um, that that statement's not correct. I'm actually proud of that. So, but I like the best of the best. And so let's get into my top ten favorite baseball players of all time. So by the end of the video, you will know who my favorite is of all, all time. So, if anyone asks you, who is my favorite player, like, the end of the all, you won't, you will say this person. Now, I got these players from, I, about a, a month or so ago, just over a month. In December, I put up two videos, my top 50 favorite retired and my top 100 current, so that's where these are from. I wrote out my top 10 from retired and my top 20 from current. So, without further ado, I have some honorable mention. C.C. Sabathia, Bartolo Colon, Brandon Phillips, Hanley Ramirez, I love it. Hanley Ramirez, didn't make the cut, Kirby Puckett, Roy Holiday, Nolan Arnato, Charlie Blackman, Chuck Nasty, we got Joey Gallo, Matt Kemp, Evan Longoria, Ad Alberto Mondesi, two-hit Whit Merrifield, Jose Soler, my dog, Mad Matt Scherzer, Madison Bumgardner, Brett Gardner, Pete Alonzo, uh, DJ Mayhew and K Brian Hayes, all honorable mention, and Pablo Sandoval. I love the Kung Fu Panda. So now let's get into this list. At number 10, Marquise Grissom. Um, he played on the Braves. He played on the uh, Expos. He was in a couple All-Star games. He great. <laughs> I love Marquise Grissom. Um, I don't know why. Maybe because I never heard someone named Mar named Marquise, but he great. I listened to a couple Expo Cardinal game that's where I first heard of him, along with Moises Alou, and uh, the Expo lost that game. But Marquise great, and then he was in what was the nineteen ninety three ninety four whatever playoff series with the Braves going against the Rockies, and he hit a home run there. So. Marquise can rake. I love Marquise Grissom. I love going back to the old games like in the 80s and 90s and finding his games and just playing them because he was a good player. He's always one of those where it's like 90, 99 of people would be like, oh, he's not that good or he's a mediocre player, but I personally love Marquise Grissom. At the number nine spot, we have Justin Verlander of the Astros. Former of the Tigers, he 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 he's he's amazing. Justin Verlander is amazing. From being in the two thousand six World Series, which I listened to that game, game five, 
game four. They swept. They got swept, didn't they? Game four. I right, listen to that game. We'll get to his teammate later. If you know who he who I'm talking about, then you know who it is. But uh, and then all the way to him winning the World Series in seventeen. Oh, and he's close to retirement. I mean, he's thirty nine. He he didn't. He's not gonna be able to pitch. I don't think at all. And did he pitch in twenty? He did not pitch in twenty twenty, and he's coming back in twenty twenty one. I think that'd be his last season. Very limited. It's just sad to see Justin Verlander go after he dominated for so long. But I love Justin Verlander for his crazy strikeout. I love, that's probably what I love the most about him. In 2019, especially, I'd be like, uh, who had a strikeout in the Astro game? Be like, Justin Verlander had 15 strikeouts. And I love just looking up every day, seeing did Verlander pitch, and how many people did he strike out? I love that. That just brought me so much joy to see Justin Van Lander do so well at such an old age and even got another Cy Young under his belt. A sure Hall of Famer. Next, his teammate right above him, Yvonne Pudge Rodriguez, former MVP with the Rangers? The Mariners. No, Rangers. With the Rangers, I think. Uh, but Pudge, I don't know why I like Pudge. Pudge is one of the best catchers ever. He can hit, and he plays great defense, and he can run. And he had a cannon of an arm. I mean, what don't you like? Maybe Mike Piazza was a better hitter. Maybe someone like Yadier Molina is a better defender. But for an all-around catcher, you have to go with Pudge Rodriguez. Maybe Yogi Bear was better. Maybe Joe Jamie Fox. Yeah, Jamie Fox. I think that's his name. Um, with better, but Pudge is my favorite catcher. He was he he's so good. I love Pudge, and I'm glad he got his ring in 2003 with the Marlins. Uh, but, but but Pudge is the Pudge is the man. I love Pudge. Next number seven, Anthony Rizzo of the Chicago Cubs. You know I gotta represent my cubbies, and this is our first representative of the list. Back to back gold glove, World Series champion, silver slugger, the goat. Um, thank you, Boston, for drafting him. Thank you, uh, Padres. Thank you, San Diego, for trading him to us. And I love Anthony Rizzo with a passion. The first ever T-shirt I got, like I have it, the Cub logo on the on the chest. With the 44 in the back. First ever shirt I got. Then a Baez. Then a Bryant. Now maybe I can get a Contreras before they trade him too. Um, is Rizzo going to be on the cut for much longer? Um, his contract up after 21. Will he come back? I hope so. I love seeing him in Chicago. I'm pretty sure he loved playing in Chicago. But mm, he, he I love Anthony Rizzo. Next. Juan Soto, one of the GOATs who will be one of the GOATs in the next five years with Ronald Acuna Jr., along with Spencer Torkelson, Asa Lacy's, all of these guys that are coming up. Um, Oh, God, the Orioles guys. And I'm forgetting his name. Uh, Patrick Bailey of the Giants. I don't know why I just thought of him. Avery Rutschman, that's his name, of the Orioles, who looks like he's going to be good. Just just so many good young prospects that will be coming up, and Soto will lead the charge. He will lead the way for the Nolan Jones, the Nolan Gorman, the, the, um, the uh, Nick Lodolos. The, the, so many good players. The Cabrian Hayes is probably going to lead it, too. Just so many good players that are coming up, and Soto's going to lead the charge. He's so young, and he's already so good. Could have won. If he didn't get the COVID at the beginning of the season, he probably would have won the MVP over Freddie Freeman. Um, That's how good he is. Another player to bring up, Sisto Sanchez. You got your Jack Chisholm. You got your... Uh, uh, I was going to mention someone else. But, oh, they are so, so, Ian Anderson, that's who it was, so good. And your uh, Julio Urias, your Dustin Mays, all of these players in five years will be dominating the league. And Juan Soto will be leading them. 
e Evan White, J.P. Crawford. Why am I just listing off all these young players? But a pioneer of the game, Michael Brantley, is the number five of my favorite of all time. Michael Brantley. Oh, I want him to get that ring. Why did you have to re-sign with Houston? You were, there was an open door right there in Toronto, but... But it wasn't meant to be. Oh, I love Michael Brantley. He was so good on the Indians, so good on the Astros, the all in all multiple time All Star. Uh he can he rates he he's amazing. I love Michael Brantley. He played the game the right way. He is so talented. He doesn't need trash cans, even though he went there during the scandal. He doesn't need anything. He is the best. Michael Brantley is the goat. One of the greatest. Current player, maybe. He's so good. I love Michael Brantley. At number four, we got Ichio Suzuki. Ichio, okay. What can I not say? Over 5,000 career hits. 3,000 in the MLB. Um, Cannon of an arm. Multiple time gold glove. Most hits in a season. Rookie of the year and MVP in one season. Unfortunately, never got that ring. But... Multiple time All Star played on the Mariners, the Yankees, the Marlins. He is so talented. I love, 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 love watching each row highlight. He could steal bases. He can throw you out. He even pitched an inning. He rates at the plate. He what do you not? He this man can do everything. First ballot Hall of Famer, just like Derek Jeter. Um, who else has been up? Just like someone we're going to get to in a little bit. First ballot Hall of Famer for sure. Ichiro Suzuki is one of the best to ever play the game. Next, we got Mike freaking Trout. Okay? It's Mike freaking Trout. Mike freaking Trout is the goat of all goats. He is the greatest of all time. Better than Barry Bond. Better than Hank Aaron. Better than Babe Ruth. Better than Mantle. Than uh, Griffey Jr. Better than anyone you put in front of him. Alex Rodriguez. I don't know why I brought his name up, but Mike Trout is all ready to go. Three MVPs. Eight Silver Sluggers, eight, what, seven All-Star appearances, and he would have had one more if it wasn't for 20, 20. Still lacking that goal goal, but he can honestly get one, making the amazing catch. One of the n nicest players you'll ever see. Great defender, can't have an arm, still bases, rates, just like Ichio, honestly. A five-tool player, what is it? He can hit, steal bases, play defense, Throw and run? Is that what is it? Is that no? He can he can hit, catch, throw, hit. Wait, hit, catch, throw, run, and something else to make you a five tool player. But my trout is the definition of a five tool player. At number two, El Mago, the magician. Javier Baez. Okay, this man, I love him with a passion. Number nine, that's why I'm Anthony Spears 9 on Instagram. Because of Javier Baez. Oh, I love him so much. 2018, he went off, and that cemented him as one of the GOATs. Um, He is one of the most genuinely best players that I have ever seen. He came up in 2015, so I've basically been watching him his whole career. And he played amazing defense. He hits. He is so good. I love, I love, love, love Javier Baez. Okay, he is phenomenal. But the number one guy, my favorite player of all time, according to this list, it may change or might stay the same for a long time. Uh, the Texas Rangers, uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers, of uh, the Boston Red Sox, member of the 3000 Hit Club, Adrian Beltre. Adrian Beltre is, 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 is amazing, okay? Just like e trio as I referenced earlier, first ballot Hall of Famer. Mike Trout, first ballot Hall of Famer. Juan Soto, first ballot Hall of Famer. Justin Verlander, first 
ballot Hall of Famer. Okay, he is one of the best third basemen ever. You got Mike Schmidt, you got Nolan Arenado, it, I think Beltre is better than Arenado, but Arenado has only been playing for eight years, while Beltre played a good 17 or something like that, so the numbers aren't exactly equal, but I know there's some stat where it, like, it makes everything equal, like, what is it, OPS plus, and defensive one, say, plus or whatever, but, 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 but it, it's Adrian freaking Beltre, okay, one of the nicest players, and he genuinely very good, I don't know when he was on the vets, I said he got that ring, but I don't care, he is the GOAT, okay, Adrian Beltre is my favorite player, I guess, of all time. I love Adrian Beltre. So we would have had to, like, have a Mount Rushmore. My favorite would be Adrian Beltre, Javier Baez, Mike Trout, and Isio, Ichiro Suzuki. And that's on, like, a dang good Mount Rushmore. I mean, if I could just watch these players for the rest of my life, like, Beltre, Baez, Trout, Suzuki highlights... I already watch Suzuki and Trout highlights from time to time for fun. Beltre, I've done it already. Baez, if he gets, like, the later into a career, we've been playing for five years, so he's going to be better played, more home runs, but just insaneness. Michael Brantley is great. Soto rates Rizzo, just someone I love. My first t-shirt or jersey or anything. Pudge Rodriguez, Verlander, and Marquis Grissom, just a soft spot. If we were to have the runner-up for this, Pablo Sandoval, Madison Bumgarner would probably be the next two on the list. I love my Kung Fu Panda, and I love my Mad Bum. But everyone else, uh, the honorable mentions, they they don't really compare. They're not up to the level yet. Peter Lawson only been playing for two seasons. Maybe he can get up there. Can Brian Hayes have only been playing for 24 games? Not even half a season or anything. Because the season was 60 games. You cut down half, that's 30. He played 24. So that's not even half of a season. Uh, Scherzer, first ballot. You got Jose Sereca to my dog. Merrifield. Uh, I, I love Evan Longoria for some reason. Blackman and Arenado up here. And then Roy Holiday have a soft spot for Kirby Puckett, everyone's favorite twin, Ham, Ram, Ham, and Ramirez. Brandon Phillips, I like. Big Sexy and CC Sabathia. So, a lot of surefire Hall of Famers on this list. Actually, not Brett Phillips. I... Brett Phillips is on the Rays. Brandon Phillips was on the Reds. I don't think he's going to make the Hall of Fame, but those are my top 10 favorite players of all time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.